So far this term we've been looking at how musical instruments work, how their sound is created and how it resonates around the instrument and also how those vibrations are picked up by the human ear and translated into musical sounds. For the second half of this term you are going to uh, now use your knowledge to make your own instrument. What we'd like is for you to have a bit of ambition when you're doing this. Okay, now for example, shakers, very simple to make, very satisfying to make. You can get a container of some sort, fill it with some sort of material, dried pasta is really good, uh, lentils are really, really good, and lo and behold you have a shaker. The thing is, here I have um, a container of black peppercorns, now you see it. Um, now I haven't had to do anything to this. And it makes a very satisfying shaker, it makes a lovely sound and believe me, I'm never happier than when I'm playing shaker. Lovely sound. The thing is, I haven't had to do anything to make this, I just literally went into the kitchen and picked it up off the shelf and there we have it, an instant shaker. What we'd like you lot to do is be a bit more ambitious in your builds. We would like you to make something more substantial, so the materials you use need to be uh, stronger. Uh, so cardboard and paper isn't really that substantial. Um, let's make something that actually makes a decent sound. Now, to rise to this challenge, I'm going to join in as well. I'm going to turn this broom handle right here and, whoops, and this box of bits and pieces. I'll just open it for you now. You'll see inside, oh, wrong side. There's a few little things in there. Can you see that? Um, there's a, a clip. Oh, there's a big hint. There's an old guitar string. And some little bits and pieces, screws and things. And I'm going to turn these into an instrument called a diddly bow. Okay? And while I'm making my diddly bow, uh, I'd like you to try and think about and work out what a diddly bow is. So. I'm just going to go away into the garage, I'm going to make it, see if you can work out what a diddly bow is. And here we have it, the finished article, my one string diddly bow. Here's the cigar box, which is the sound chamber. It's got a hole in it here to help the sound resonate. Here's uh, the broom handle, now cut to length, um, and the guitar string stretched across it. So when you twang the guitar string, it resonates in the box and the sound hole helps the sound come out. I've added a tuning key at the top there, so I can keep it in, in tune. Um, and because we've got a stretch string, if you go halfway along it, you get your halfway harmonic, like that. And we also have a harmonic here and a harmonic here. Okay, now, originally these were played with a technique called bottleneck. You don't press the string down onto the, um, onto the broom handle like you do with a the guitar. There's no, no sort of fretboard here. What you do is you use what's called a slide. Now, here's a glass slide here. Originally, uh, musicians would get an old beer bottle, break the neck off it, and then use one of these, of course, smooth it down, and would use one of these uh, as a slide. I'm going to use a metal one here. I've got a metal one as well. Now, when you play this technique, what you do is you literally place the slide on the string and you slide it along to get the different notes. Okay? Now, these are quite a, a rhythmic instrument. Let me show you what it sounds like.
we go, the one string diddly bow. So, here's my finished diddly bow. And I'm very, very happy with it. Sounding good and looking just how I wanted it to look. Now over here, I've got a bin. And you'll notice on top of the bin is the leftover piece of um, broom handle that I sawed off when I made the diddly bow. Now, I'm gonna use this broom handle as a beater. And this bin is gonna make a very useful bass drum. Hope you can see that there. Fantastic. Now, you'll notice also that through the bass drum there is a piece of string. What I've done is I've drilled a hole in the middle of the, uh, the base of the, of the bin there. Doesn't do the bin any harm. We can still use it as a bin. Now I'm going to flip it over. On the other side, can you see in there? Yeah. Um, I've got a piece of string with a knot in it and a washer around the end. Okay, so the string won't pop through the hole. Let's turn it back over, there we go. And the piece of string goes through and is tied to the end of a broom. There's the broom, okay. Now, this bin is gonna make a fantastic resonating chamber for my instrument. You'll notice I've got this one has got uh, grooves in it here, which is really, really useful for tucking the broom into. I'm just going to put this down on the floor and I'm going to switch the camera around so you can see what I'm doing here. Right, I hope you can see this. I've uh, tied the string around the top of the broom there, just with a knot here. I'll be able to cut that off later so we can go back to using it as a brush. And I've the thing to make sure here is that the string is slightly shorter than the handle of the brush so you can get some tension on it and I'm just going to put this down here and you can see what an incredible sound we get out of our bin base. Got my diddly bow here, just twang the string there. So you can get the same note as the diddly bow. There we go. Now I've got my diddly bow, I've got my bass, I've got my drum, I've got my brush. Let's see what music we can make. you don't want to go around drilling holes in the bottom of your bin you could try this all you need for sound is a resonator a chamber to amplify the sound here we go just an empty container same thing hole in the bottom string knotted there stick a bamboo here which has got a notch in it for the string to run through not very tidily done and this is my baby base it goes between my feet on the floor here we are And sounds like this. Google Classroom you will find instructions on how to make all sorts of instruments. There are PDFs which you can print up and there are links to various YouTube videos and demonstrations on how to build your own instrument. What you need to do now between now and next week is to decide what instrument you're going to make and to submit that onto Google Classroom. And remember be ambitious, let's have strong sturdy materials and let's have interesting imaginative 
fun sounding instruments. And here it is, my one string diddly, 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 